Hello everybody, this is Be Divine. I hope that you're awesome wherever you are. Today, we're gonna to get some rune messages and also some Viking runic tarot as well. So if you wanna see what today's all about, stick around. Okay, so thanks for joining me. And uh, I hope that you've seen the other videos that I've made today as well. So I make videos every day. I am a spiritual teacher. I have been working with spirit for a very long time and doing readings since 1990. Uh, you can definitely learn a lot here. So thanks so much for being here. And also, if you want to work with me personally, go to my website, which is always down in the bottom right of this uh, video. And uh, see my descriptions for free uh, courses, I'll be adding to those courses and I'm going to be adding a Viking Reiki coming up here pretty soon, okay? So, I thought it was a good day today to do some different cards. So, let's start with the Elder Paturk uh, runes and see where our day is going. We have Fehu, awesome. This is wealth, luck abundance, energy, fertility, just a whole lot of blessings coming in. This is what we want to hear, isn't it? So staying really positive and, oh, uh, Perthro, oh my goodness. This is about fate. This is about the unknown. Um, this can be a very, very powerful and good omen uh, for you on your journey as well. And it brings you into initiation. So some of you are beginning your spiritual journey. Maybe you want to learn more. Maybe you want to learn tarot. Maybe you want to learn about opening up your psychic abilities. So this is just confirmation for you to start doing that. We all really need to be on a leadership path with this work, right? So it's very good. Well, I'm going to have to take this one. There's very good uh, luck around you at the moment. So Nordhis uh, is about some sort of resistance that you might be having. You're putting in a lot of effort towards something. Maybe there's some kinds of delays here. But since this is connected with the bare energy, nothing is going to really stop you from what's coming. Uh, Lagoose is here as well. Now, I'm just saying things in my own way. So this is about flow this is about memory. Um, this is also uh, about dreams that you might be having. Uh, the seahorse can be very symbolic of family matters as well. So something perhaps shifting and changing uh, within your family as well. Um, and look, we have an, <laughs> a whale here, right, with raid ho. And this can talk about travel too. So maybe this is also about... Um, you're taking a journey towards people that you care about or that you're going to be working with a great deal of people on your journey. There is movement happening and you are certainly on the right path. So if you drew this rune, this would help you with safe journey, for example. And, you know, Fehu, for example, this one, I don't know if I've got a pen. So you can just draw on your hand, um, if my pen works, uh, Fehu like this. And this is going to attract abundance. So we're setting it to attract abundance with thanks. Okay, so you can do these. So because I'm using my hands all the time with my work and also teaching and sharing and giving away things all of the time, obviously, Everybody needs abundance coming in too, right? So you can feel like, okay, I can feel relaxed now because I get exactly what I need. It's coming in more than I need, right? All right, so let's get some readings based on our uh, blessings that are coming in today using the runic tarot. I love these. These are some of my favorite. So what does everybody need to know? Wow, look at this. We have the energy here of the six of coins. Okay, so 
yeah, I was kind of like going off into the picture here, right? It's pretty easy to do so. Haven't you been through a lot, right? You have been through a lot. There's a lot of magical energy within you. There is freedom here, right? There is awakening. There is protection. With the sigils, you know, the binaries around all of these beautiful shields here, you know, they expected protection to come in, like protection from the gods, right? To come in and assist. They believed in what they were doing just as much as the other factions believed in what they were doing as well. And this is what the trouble is, is that everybody has something that they believe is completely correct for them. And you really don't need anybody else to understand that or back you up in it um, as well. You just have to be it, right? You live by example and you get the victory. You get the victory coming in. So many of you are sitting in your life right now, contemplating the future, right? Maybe some of you are in fear of your future. Maybe some of you have problems going on within your physical being. Maybe some of you have been haunted with weird dreams your whole life. Maybe some of you have had you know, freaky things to do with ghosts or spirits or whatever. So you kind of close yourself off to the divine. And so now I say to you, don't sit in fear for the rest of your life. It is really time for this world to awaken to their ancient abilities. You all have. And sitting there in fear or in complaint sitting there in worry or in stress, overthinking what you're saying, what you're doing, or what someone is saying to you is no way to live. You're not freeing yourself. You need to get free. Victory is here. Okay, you all have it. This is why I created the Light Leaders Academy, to put you all in leadership in this work because there's too much BS out there. People will, you know, they're just in it to run you down the garden path that is not me okay i'm going to help you awaken because that's what i'm here to do okay see there it is again the victory okay he's come home he's in triumph he doesn't need anybody to even acknowledge it they just are for a job well done right standing your ground focusing yourself on where you're going Get rid of distractions. Get rid of people who are not on the same path as you. It doesn't mean they're bad people. They're just not on the same frequency anymore. And that's cool, right? You're moving into a new direction with the sixes here of great success. There is nothing that you can't do. It seems to me that you need to also understand how... Um, protected you are in so many ways and I get a lot of this um, energy from these cards of inner power like inner strength right and understanding that there are not many people who could go through the things that you've been through in life and still stand here today maybe you've had instances in your life where you almost gave up right so something kept you around what other people think or their uh, distraction, like I said before, or they're hating on it or they don't understand your path, stop trying to explain it. Just be it, as I said before. And this is what brings curiosity. You don't have any other enemies really other than your own self, right? Trying to stop you from things that are good for you as well through fear. So release this. We pick up energies from everywhere we go if we're not protected. And you could be simply picking up someone else's fearful energy, anxiety, and stress and thinking it's your own. It's time to take your power back completely. See? The devil actually brings, in this instance, a lot of illumination to the crap that we do to ourselves. And here we're being asked not to fall backwards in our journey and continue forward in strength. Look how powerful you are.